The Coalition of Civil Society Groups for Justice has called on the federal government of Nigeria as a matter of urgency to purge issues of corruption, forgery, and criminal falsification of information in Nigeria's public service. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja in relation to a case of forgery and criminal information falsification by Mr. Edet Sunday Akpan, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Mines and Steel, the convener, Mr. Kabiru Dalla, said, Mr. Akpan, who is accused of corruption, forgery, and criminal falsification of service, has gotten promoted and remained in service beyond his retirement age. A case in point is that of Mr. Edet Sunday Akpan. Permanent Secretary, who, is, who served in the Ministry of Trade and Investment, who is accused of corruption, forgery, and criminal falsification of information, with which he has gotten promoted and remained in service beyond his retirement age. He is now in the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel. This should not happen when younger people are looking for a space to offer their service to this country. It is even more worrisome as it is alleged that Mr. Akpan is sheltered by a powerful man in government. Mr. Dalla noted that Mr. Akpan parades questionable academic credentials and falsified his age of birth while his primary and secondary school certificates are said to be missing from his records. According to available record, which is being investigated by Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offense, ICPC, for an unduly long time now, Mr. Akpan parade questionable academic credentials and falsify his age of birth in order to remain in service beyond his, beyond his retirement age. His primary and secondary school certificate are said to be missing from his record. This appears for an obvious reason of their non existence or to hide a falsified date of birth. While calling for a suspension, the group urged Mr. President to investigate Mr. Akpan and, if found culpable, sack and prosecute him to serve as a deterrent to other offenders and would-be offenders. Consequently, upon the foregoing, we urge Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, who is the apostle of anti-corruption, is a man of the people, is somebody that Nigeria believes so much in, to investigate Mr. Akpan Sunday, if found capable, sack him and prosecute him to serve as a deterrent to other offenders and would-be offender. Before then, he should be suspended. He should be suspended because he cannot be a judge in your own case. The ICP is here by under an obligation to make the investigation public for transparent uh, for trans to make it finally public so that Nigerians should know what is happening. From Abuja, Lawrence Aldo, TVN News.